Welcome to video three in the introduction to YWIRE video series. This video is a brief overview of broadband over power line, also known as BPL, and why lighting control is the perfect application for this well-established technology. As we know, network lighting control is prohibitively expensive to install in an existing building. This cost barrier is due to the massive rewiring required to control the lighting system. Not only is broadband over power line the answer to this issue, but also the answer to the challenges faced by wireless solutions designed for the same purpose. To move forward in our understanding of BPL, we need to detail the challenge facing all wireless and wired network technology, and that's interference. Interference is defined in its simplest form as any other electromagnetic activity that operates in the same frequency band as the one we're using at the time. Interference can be noise, other signals, or even radiation entering the Earth's atmosphere from space. If it occupies the same frequency or part of a frequency range that we're operating in, we will experience interference with information we're trying to move from one place to another. Communication over live electrical conductors has been around for over 25 years. Producing a stable, high-speed network on a building's electrical wiring has been a difficult challenge. First in this evolution was a technology called Power Line Communication, or PLC. This technology operated in a narrow band of frequencies and therefore didn't have a lot of signal area, if you want to call it that, to use to get around interference. This made it highly susceptible to signal loss and errors. Transformers were an issue for this technology as well. All of these issues have relegated PLC to use in residential buildings only. And unfortunately, the lack of robustness keeps this technology operating at very low speeds compared to what we expect of networks today. In the 1990s, a new technology was introduced to provide high-speed internet access to homes and businesses without the need to bury coax cable or fiber optics. It was called broadband over power line. The technology would undergo several years of innovation, making it economical and reliable somewhere in the late 90s. BPL overcomes many of the challenges of its predecessor, PLC. Among them, the ability to deal effectively with interference and communicate through transformers. With communication speeds in the fiber optic range and the ability to reliably transfer information in the noisiest electrical environments, BPL is well suited for use in commercial and light industrial buildings. BPL was and still is deployed successfully in many developing countries. The technology did, however, hit a roadblock in North America when it was found to interfere with shortwave radio operation. Understandably, the amateur radio operators lobbied hard to have its use banned and were successful in at least creating some limitations of use that resulted in telecommunication companies pursuing other means of data transportation. The problem was, when you broadcast a strong network across an ungrounded, unshielded, outdoor hanging conductor, a large antenna is created. This is what generated the interference with equipment, namely shortwave radio, that was already operating in those frequencies. BPL, a completely viable technology, then found its true calling inside buildings, and by extension, its perfect application lighting control. Control devices need no new wiring. They can be powered, communicate, and turn lights on and off all on an existing wire. Solid concrete construction, multiple layers of wallboard or other building materials are a non-issue. This speaks well for older buildings and certainly well for the fortified structures of military installations. Being an actual wired network, there's no interference created by the system or experienced by the system concerning other wireless devices on site. BPL lighting control enjoys a decisive advantage over wireless methods because of the consistent problem of powering wireless devices. The turning point for BPL was the fact that inside a building, all the wire is shielded and grounded, making best use of the advantages of BPL without any of the issues associated with outdoor power line applications. BPL uses a variety of different methods and technologies to provide solid high-speed communication in the noisiest power line conditions. The first is mesh networking. This is a strategy where each device is a network node and a repeater. These devices automatically relay messages bound for other devices if it's more reliable to do so. This is a dynamic, ever-evolving relationship between all the nodes on a network. The more nodes, the stronger and more reliable the network. Another common network improvement function is forward error correction. How this works in simple terms is the system sends two identical packets to a recipient. The recipient compares them, and if they're identical, the message is confirmed as authentic. 
If the two packets are not identical, then the node concludes the message is not authentic. The recipient would then request a repeat. This all happens at extremely high speeds. In fact, if every recipient requested 10 repeats for every message, we wouldn't even notice it. Frequency hopping is probably one of the most important reliability enhancing strategies at play in BPL. How this works is as follows. We have a maximum bandwidth or frequency range of 2 to 30 megahertz. That bandwidth is broken into 1,500 different channels that are available for us to communicate on. The devices themselves don't need anywhere near that much bandwidth to operate, so all the devices and the gateway together agree on channels they want to use. When interference occurs, it occupies a certain frequency. This is recognized by the network and all the devices along with the gateway. The entire group reroute all communication to channels that are clear of the interference. This reassignment occurs constantly while different sources of interference attempt to disrupt the network. Frequency hopping has been compared to an airplane ascending or descending to avoid turbulence instead of trying to plow through. The reason this works in BPL, but not in PLC, is because BPL has an enormous bandwidth to move around in, much like the airplane having a bandwidth of 25,000 feet to move up and down to find smooth air. OFDM, or Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing, is a technology found in wireless networking such as 4G mobile phone communication. It is a powerful tool in ensuring accurate data transfer in unpredictable, excessively noisy environments like the RF-saturated atmosphere of the Earth. So it's an excellent fit for the noisy power conditions in commercial and industrial buildings. As mentioned, BPL provides fast, reliable networking and building electrical systems at up to 40 megabits per second. That makes YWIRE the fastest building control network in the world. For customers concerned with network security, there's no better way to do it than BPL. There are five layers of security, both physical and logical, inherent in YWIRE's BPL network. The first is 245-bit AES encryption of all the actual power line communication messaging. There's also a physical barrier intruders would have to overcome. The network is not wireless, so no wireless snooping is possible. Someone has to physically be on site with the right equipment to even initiate access to the network. Next, when all the information comes out of the power line gateway, there's a separate site router, which has its own security on board. After that, there's a front end or graphical user interface. This is the only device that resides on the building's IT network if it's even connected at all. Then finally, the building's network typically has extensive security in itself. All told, there are numerous unique barriers between an intruder and the Y-Wire network devices. And finally, all this comes together in an incredibly simple installation requiring very little labor. We need only to install the Y-Wire devices on the building's electrical wiring and install the gateway on the electrical panel to induce the network. The BPL network is created on the building's wiring by use of ferromagnetic couplers, or ferrites. There's no actual physical connection with the line voltage conductors and the gateway. The network is magnetically induced. For more information on how these devices are installed, see other videos in this series. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about broadband over power line and YWIRE's innovative new approach to lighting control. For more information on YWIRE, its products, or to become a YWIRE certified partner, See our website at www.ywiretech.com, email us at sales at ywiretech.com, or call us at our Montreal office at 802-448-1530.